is Kathia Alexander. Kathia is a writer, teaching artist, and an award-winning actor and storyteller. Her play, Homegoing, was chosen for residency at Hedgebrook Women's Writers Retreat, and her play, Black to My Roots, Af uh, African American Tales from the Head and the Heart, won the Ed Edinburgh Festival Fringe First Award in Edinburgh, Scotland, for outstanding new production. Kathia. Thank you. Um, so the title of my poem is The Wedding. I want Mandy to be at my wedding, Evelyn said to my mama. She in our living room. I want her to be a junior bridesmaid when I get married this coming June. And what is all of this going to cost me, my mama say. Evelyn answered her back. Just buy the dress, Evelyn say to mama, and I'll take care of everything else. Everything else, my mama say. What else is it for you to get? I get the socks and bows and shoes. I want to make sure that everything matches. I hear Ms. Wendy say to my mama that she think Evelyn trying to act too uppity, trying to put on airs with this fancy wedding, like Evelyn is not one of them Thompsons. Mr. Thompson is Ozzy's most pitiful drunk. He gets so drunk he cannot stand. I didn't see him fall down in the ditch that I always make Carol Jean and Beverly Ann real shame when he do stuff like that. Everybody in school teased them about him, but they laugh at Mr. Thompson himself. What else you gonna do when you got him for a day? I hope he don't even come to the wedding, Carol Jane told me. She was sitting in my tree. She liked to climb trees like I do. Sometimes she go even higher than me. But I don't care if Mr. Thompson come to the wedding if he sit down somewhere like he know how to act. When he ain't drunk, he just sit in his bedroom. So at the wedding, I hope he act like that. But Evelyn's mama, Miss Thompson, she is so nice. I already seen the dress that Evelyn get her. It's the dusty color of a pale pink rosebud. And it's got a lot of antique lace all over it. I can't wait to see my dress. I get so excited when Evelyn described it. She said the lace on the top, the same color as Miss Thompson. And she say I gotta wear a petticoat up under it. I love wearing petticoats. My mama don't like it. She say when I wear my flouse around too much, just cause I like to spin around in a circle and make my pretty dress flare out. My wedding colors are dark and light pink. The dresses are on hold downtown at blast. They're the prettiest things. Mandy, you're going to love it. It's got an empire waist and a pink satin sash. This wedding, the biggest thing us than ever seen. Most people marry at home when they get married. Jake and Dara got married on our front porch. It was pretty and all. But it was still a small wedding. Evelyn, she getting married down to St. Luke at the church to a man named Kendall Ray Livingston. His family is from somewhere up north. I think maybe Flint or maybe Detroit. Kendall, he is in the army. He drive a Mustang and his family rich. His daddy worked for General Motors. And when he get out the army, he gonna work there himself. Evelyn, she got 20 people who is a part of her wedding party. It's three bridesmaids and three junior bridesmaids, plus a best man and a matron of honor. She got a boy to walk with every girl, but she got two flower girls and only one ring bearer. And she got the same dress as Jackie Kennedy had. Except Miss Kennedy's was long and Evelyn's ankles is showing. 
She even got the same five tier wedding cake. And they gonna even have champagne to drink. I ain't never seen nobody have champagne at their wedding. I only seen that in weddings that be on TV. The whole long week before the wedding, I've been helping Carol and Beverly make the decorations. We put some rice and a piece of pink lace. And then we make some tissue paper carnations. The rice is for people to throw at the wedding. Mama say the rice is for good luck. Everybody gonna get a little rice sack. After we put the rice in the lace, we tie it up with a little piece of pink satin ribbon. Evelyn even got pink mints and pink frappe. That's what people gonna have at the reception. She gonna hold it down in St. Luke's basement. She even got the same wedding song that Jackie Kennedy have at her wedding. Miss Victoria is singing, I married an angel for Evelyn and Kendall for their first dance. Evelyn gonna put the tissue paper carnations on the end of each one of the pews. And she gonna put some white lace all around the paper flowers. I told Dorothy Jane I was going to collect them all after the wedding is over and use them in a wedding for my dogs. My favorite is my colored wedding doll. She looked like a chocolate princess who is dressed for a ball. Mm. I wonder if mom gonna let me wear my hair down. I can see in my mind how pretty I'll be. I wonder if she gonna let me straighten it. I ain't never had my hair straightened before, but I think this is the perfect time. But mama probably gonna put it in a ponytail. I guess that's still better than me wearing plaits. Mama treat me like a baby and I'm 10 years old. I love the socks that Evelyn pick out. They got a puffy ring, a lace, that go round the ankle. And she got us all black patent leather shoes that have a rhinestone buckle on them. When I get dressed on the day of the wedding, mama let my sister do my hair. Sissy pulled my hair back from off my face and clamped the top with a shiny pink barrette. And she just let it fall down my back. She used water and grease to make it curly. I ain't never got to wear my hair down before, except that one time in the professional picture that I took to show off the dress that Miss Emily got me one year for Easter. That dress was pink too, just like my dress for the wedding, but it had pink flowers on it with green velvet ribbon. When Evelyn walked in the church that day of the wedding, she's so pretty as she walked down the aisle on Mr. Thompson's arm. He dressed in a suit and everything. I ain't never seen him in a suit before because Mr. Thompson don't go to church. He the only person in us who do not go. Even during Miss Rose, she go to church. Mr. Thompson looked like he feel real comfortable, but he ain't drunk. That's the good thing. He walked Evelyn down the aisle without falling down. Evelyn got a big smile on her face, just like she got a regular daddy. Everything go off without a hitch. Evelyn even changed into another dress when she leave to go on her honeymoon. I think she say they going to Cancun. That's a place in Mexico. I ain't never heard, know nobody who went on a honeymoon before. When my brother Jake got married to Dara, they just moved in our house into their own bedroom. I got to leave right after the reception because mom and daddy got to go to church. So I don't get to collect the tissue paper flowers. I asked my mama if she would let me go in the sanctuary while the reception is going on, but she just say, quit acting so silly. 
I try to tell her about my doll wedding and everything, but she too busy talking to Miss Wendy. All the people in the wedding party have to sit at a table in front of everybody else. So I can't even sneak out or nothing. And then I see old nasty Dorothy Jane with all the paper flowers in her hand when she go and get her two day car. She hold them up so I can see them in the window when we all pulling out of the parking lot. Dorothy Jane, she stick her tongue out at me. I shouldn't have never said nothing to her about it. She mad anyway because she wasn't in the wedding. So she just doing this to try to break my heart. I sleep down in the back seat of the car. My mama asked me, what is the matter? I know better than to say anything about the flowers, so I just grunt and tell her nothing. You got the dress, you got to wear your hair down, and still you is not satisfied, mama say to me on our way to the church. I don't say nothing. She don't understand. Now I can't have my color wedding doll wet. I feel a tear run down my face. I know you ain't sitting back there crying. Leave her alone, my daddy say. My daddy was the one who married Evelyn cause he a preacher, but not at St. Luke. He look at me through the rear view mirror. He say, you look just like a pink angel today. That's what my daddy say. That make me smile. We get on the highway to go to Little Rock. My daddy humming, I married an angel and holding on to my mama's arm. Thank you.